In order for a building to be erected and function properly, certain components should be taken into consideration. That's why in this video you will learn parts of a structural framework, parts of a shell, parts of an interior, kinds of utility services, including but not limited to kinds of foundation, kinds of roof, and kinds of interior spaces. Building Construction Components Terminologies Architecture is the art, science, and mastery of designing, planning, and construction of a building. Building is a structure intended for a specific human habitation. Construction is an act of assembling different construction materials. Structure are different materials constructed by man, for a specific purpose excluding human habitation. Classification of a structure Substructure, any constructed materials below the ground level. Superstructure, any constructed materials above the ground level. Classification of a building. Subterranean, underground building. Low rise, a building having less than four stories in height. Edifice, a massive low rise building with a magnificent appearance. Mid rise, a building having four to twelve stories, equipped with an elevator. High rise, a building having more than 12 stories, equipped with several elevator. Skyscraper, a high-rise building that is partly reaching the clouds. Parts of a building. A. Structural framework, the skeletal system of a building, connecting all the parts together. It also carries the vertical loads imposed by the structure itself and resisting the lateral loads. B. Shell. An exterior enclosure of a building. Serving as a barrier from external factors. C. Interior, the space formed inside the shell, used for a specific human dwelling. D. Utility services, are building components that give services, satisfaction and comfort for an effective and efficient usage of a building. Parts of a structural framework. 1. Foundation the lowest part of a building, not accessible to man. In which the main purpose is to anchor the building into the ground and to transfer all kinds of loads being imposed on the structure itself to the bearing stratum. 2. Column, structural component of a building, transferring the loads acquired of the beam, directly to the foundation. 3. Beam, structural component of a building, receiving the vertical loads directly acquired from the shell and slab. It can also resist lateral loads. For slab, a reinforced concrete slab, directly receiving the live and dead loads acquired from the interior of a building. It can also resist lateral forces. 5. Shear wall, a reinforced concrete wall designed to resist lateral loads. Commonly used at the basement and in an elevator shaft. Types of foundation. A. Shallow foundation, footings are closely placed under the substructure. Near to the surface of the natural ground level. B. Deep foundation, footings are extended down on the earth at a greater depth. Kinds of shallow foundation. A. Isolated. A single column placed on a single footing, with various types such as, block, stepped, slope, corner, side, and center. B. Cantilevered, two isolated columns are connected by a tie beam. C. Combined, two columns are placed on a single footing. D. Continuous. A row of column is placed on an extended footing. E. Strip, an extended footing used for wall foundation. F. Stepped, a continuous or strip footing that change in level, ideal for a sloping bearing stratum. G. Mat, the entire columns of a building is placed on a single thick slab, sometimes supported by a grid of ribs above or below the slab. Kinds of deep foundation. A. Pile, a group of slender prefabricated columns are applied directly under a pile cap which is beneath the individual footings of a building, 
and extended down towards the Bering Stratum. Bihapir, also known as caisson, are utilization of prefabricated hollow substructures, sunk and constructed at a desired depth, then filled with concrete. Parts of a shell 1. Exterior partition, external vertical barrier of a building from the environmental factors. Defining the shape and interior space of a building. 2. Door, a passageway of man from the exterior into the interior of a building. 3. Windows, an exterior enclosure of a building, permitting only the sun and wind to enter the interior of a building. 4. Roofing, the topmost enclosure of a building. Kinds of roof 1. Flat, a roof having a very slight slope or no slope at all. 2. Pitched, a roof having a single slope. 3. Shed, a pitched roof, having its lower end attached to a wall. 4. Lean to, a pitched roof, having its higher end attached to a wall. 5. Butterfly, a roof with two opposite sides, sloping upward from the middle. 6. Gable, a roof with two opposite sides, sloping downward from the ridge. 7. Hipped gable, a gable roof, with a hipped end at the upper portion of the gable wall. 8. Hip roof, a roof with four different sides and four hip rafters, sloping downward from the ridge to the eaves. 9. Pavilion roof, a hip roof with no ridge, forming a pyramidal shape. 10. Dome, a half-spherical shaped roof. 11. Barrel, a half-cylindrical shaped roof. 12. Rainbow, a gable roof in a form of a gothic arch. 13. Gambrel, a gable roof with two curbs on each side, to form a shallower slope above a steeper one. Parts of an interior 1. Floor level, the interior partition between two stories, that carries the live and dead loads placed above it. 2. Interior partitions, a fixed or temporary barrier of spaces in the same floor level, giving privacy from one area to the other. 3. Ceiling, an architectural barrier above a story and below the structural components of a building that is used to hide the utility components. 4. Door, the passageway of a man from one area to the other. 5. Stairwell, vertical opening of a floor, in which the stair is located. 6. Stair, a vertical access from two different adjacent floor levels. 7. Fixture, are fixed built-in or prefabricated furniture. Kinds of interior spaces 1. Story, spaced formed between two adjacent floor levels. 2. Room, a spaced formed in the same story when an interior partition is applied. 3. Ground floor, the first story located nearest to the natural ground level. 4. Lower ground floor, the story nearest the lower natural ground level on a sloping terrain. 5. Upper ground floor, the story above the lower ground floor, nearest to the upper natural ground level of a sloping terrain. Six. Mezzanine, a story that has a 1.8 m clear height from finished floor to ceiling. That occupies more or less half the area of the story it is located. 7. Loft, a large unpartitioned space directly below the roof and overlooking to the next floor level below. 8. Plenum, the space formed between the suspended ceiling and the soffit of the structural components of the floor level above a story. Used to hide utility components of a building. 9. Attic, an enclosed space located directly under a roof which is not a story. 10. Crawl space, an accessible space below an elevated floor level. 11. Cellar, a story partly constructed below the natural ground level. 12. Basement, a story that is fully constructed below the natural ground level. Kinds of utility services 1. Plumbing system, a system of pipes that supplies clean water and drains used water in a building. 2. 
electrical system, a system of wires that provides artificial lighting and power supply to fixed and movable electrical appliances. 3. Heating, ventilating, and cooling systems, provides air conditioning system. 4. Conveying systems, a system that transfers live loads of a building from one floor to the other. 5. Fire safety systems, a combination of plumbing and electrical system that is intended to stop a fire from spreading. 6. Communication systems, are electronic devices installed to help audio and visual sharing of information from the building users. 7. Building intelligence systems, all utility systems are connected to a computer that has an artificial intelligence, in which various utility functions can be regulated manually or automatically set according to the needs of the users. For building wood construction system, watch the next video on College of Architecture channel.